seem like yesterday you were playing Texas and Pasadena? It does, honestly. Uh, it's uh, It's been a quick transition, but, you know, honestly, I'm excited uh, as far as the possibilities of what this team can do, and I'm ready to start up and, you know, restart the whole process and win another national championship. Has it seemed like the, the coaches uh, have been just maybe just extra tougher on you guys at all? I mean, they're always tough on you, but maybe just to send the message that, hey, last year's over. Definitely. Uh, they, they definitely don't want us to be satisfied with what we've accomplished. You know, they want us to still be hungry. And uh, I think the message of the team has been that, you know, this team right here has, has not done anything yet. You know, the team last year won the national championship, but that's not the same team that we have out there this year. And uh, we have a great team this year. We can't have, we have the opportunity to have a great team this year, but, uh, you know, we haven't really done anything yet. So we got we got a long way to go and a lot of work to do. Um, well, I've been wanting to do something like this for a long time, and uh, you know, when I when I saw that that what was happening in Haiti, I just really saw it as an opportunity, you know, just to uh, go over there and help make a difference. And uh, so I made some calls, and you know, f- finally found a, a person who uh, was very experienced and he, you know who I'd trust to take me over there, and uh, ended up you know taking some friends with me. So now uh, we're doing it tomorrow. I'm I'm really excited, and I think it's just going to be a great opportunity just to kind of put things in perspective, you know. We all think we have bad days, but then you know, you go over there and I think we're going to see people that really have lost everything, you know, as far whereas we have it a lot better. What have they told you what to expect? Um, I mean, not not particularly, um, but I think, like I said, I think that's kind of what I would expect. What kind of duties you're going to be doing there? What types of things you're going to be doing? Uh, I'm going to be working at a, with an, what, closely with an orphanage. Uh, you know, just with the earthquake, there's been a lot of people that have. Uh, lost their parents you know there's a lot of orphans uh th- i'm working in a little village called pinyon p-i-g-n-o-n um and it's actually now kind of like a refugee camp for a lot of the uh survivors of the earthquake it was it was a town i think it was these are approximate numbers but it was something like twenty thousand people and now it's like a hundred thousand people just because so many people have come from port-au-prince you know where the earthquake occurred and now everybody's trying to relocate and start starting to get their lives uh, back in order so Another thing we're going to be doing is unloading in supplies and kind of distributing them to the people who need them. When did that kind of shape up? Uh, just kind of gradually. Um, you know, just about a, a month a month and a half ago is when I started to, you know, I don't know, I just, like I said, I saw what was going on over there, and I've been wanting to do something like this for a long time, you know, uh, kind of just give back. And, um, you know, the only time I really have an opportunity to do that is spring break just because we have such a demanding schedule. So, uh you know, when I just saw what the hate, what was going on in Haiti on TV, I just you know, f- I knew I'd been praying about an opportunity like this, and then when I saw it, I just kind of felt led that this was you know where God was leading me to go. This was kind of the opportunity He was giving me. So, I'm going with uh, some people out of Memphis. It's called Icon Ministries, E I K O N Ministries, and uh, a guy named Soup Campbell is taking us. He's already been down there three times. Yeah, his name's <laughs> Soup Campbell. Uh, he's already been down there three times, and. Uh, so he's he's really experienced and he knows what he's doing and and I'm, I'm also going with some other people. So. Icon Ministries, E I K O N, Icon. Did right side still for you at guard. I mean, with the opening <laughs> on the left side, are you, are you still pretty much going to be on the right side? Though? You know, it's hard to say. I, I'm willing to play wherever they put me, but uh, you know, I, I've been taking snaps at right, but you never know. I'll, I'll, I'm willing to play it wherever wherever they want me to. Last year we had three. You had to replace three starters on the offensive line. This year it's two. Right. Um, how is it different, and how is it kind of the same? Um, well, we know we have a lot of talent on the offensive line, just like we did last year. And uh, you know, I, f- I feel like we really came together as a group last year, and we have the opportunity to have another great um, O line. And so that's what we're going to try to do. You know, we just got to put pieces in place, and I imagine we're going to try a lot of different combinations. And uh, you know, we'll just see which one works best out there. You know, it, on paper, it looks one way, but really when you get out there, you know, it, sometimes it looks different. So we'll just try combinations and practice, and which, whichever one, uh, you know, kind of gels, that's the one we'll go with. One more. Can you talk about some of those individuals? Have uh, opportunity? There's a lot of guys competing for the positions. Um, you know, really, it's, <laughs> we just had one day and, uh, and, and, and no pads, so it would be really, really hard to say. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of guys who are competing and have gotten a lot better.